right, all right, all right, all right. Good evening, folks. It's Saturday night. Hope you've had a great weekend so far. I've got here something spectacular to show you. I got a big train haul from a friend of mine's dad, uh, Mr. Woody Claxton, who, by the way, Mr. Woody Claxton is the man who developed the seedless watermelon. And I got to say, who doesn't like a seedless watermelon? Yep, sure enough, he, uh, he taught at the University of Riverside. He did a lot of research down there. And not only did he develop the seedless watermelon, but he worked on cucumbers, he worked on tomatoes, he worked on avocados. He had a whole list of things that he did research on while he was teaching out there at the University of Riverside. And let's give him a shout out because I appreciate a good seedless watermelon. Mm. So he had this collection, or he still has part of his collection. He still has a, a layout out there where he lives. And uh, he said, uh, he told Ray, his son, he says, hey, let Charlie know that I want to get rid of some stuff. And uh, I went down there this past week and, uh, and brought a whole bunch of goodies with me. And I really appreciate him uh, letting me buy this stuff from him because it's really nice stuff. Some of it that he never even used. Uh, for example, I have six of these Mantua um, logging um, flat cars from Weyerhaeuser. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, Weyerhaeuser uh, wood and logging out there. I think they're from Oregon. Um, so I got six of these and. I don't even think he opened them. These boxes look completely sealed. And that's just like, that's great because I have a train that I'm going to use to haul all those logs with. Um, and he has some AHM uh, rolling stock. This here being a shell tank car. Got that one there. This is a Rio Grande boxcar, and I love Rio Grande. You guys know that. So that was a big hit. And let's see what else did we get. Oh, we got some. Um, we got some um, baggage cars, like old time baggage cars. And I, these three are the same right here. So. You know, you hook these up with a steam locomotive and watch out. You got something good. Oh, yeah. Actually, I got four of these. And they got some pretty good detail. You know, they've got the brake lines underneath and uh, just everything, you know. And, again, I don't think he ever opened these because they just don't, they don't seem like they've been t out of the box. The wheels are completely clean. That's a big hit. And of course we have the, uh, let's see here. This one's also an old time baggage car. Uh, Kansas City, St. Louis, and Chicago. Look at that thing. This one might've been open because uh, the tab kind of sticking out a little bit, maybe. But uh, in any case, it looks brand new. All right. Then we have from Lifelike, I guess he collected a little bit of everything. He collected. Uh, from my flag, this is a Union Pacific uh, coal car. And this is a Great Northern culvert flat car. And this is another Union Pacific coal car. It has a load on it. And another Union Pacific gondola with culverts. I mean, wow. And as I mentioned before, they don't look like they got run or had a lot of time on the track. So, those are in fantastic shape. From Tyco, we have two Union Pacific gondola with, um, with a coal load on them. So, that's a big hit because you can't have enough of these Union Pacifics. Let's see, what else? From Accurail, 
in the box. Sealed brand new. It's a box car. I don't know what it you know what company it was from, but in any case, it was this right here. Oxide. It's an oxide six panel 40 foot wood box car. Okay. From Bachman, we have a Union Pacific Caboose. We have a Southern Gondola. We have a Union Pacific Railroad old time uh, flat car. It might be a gondola. Oh, it's a gondola. Yeah. And we have a Central Pacific Railroad flat car for a log load. And that's in great shape. All these cars are in great shape. I mean, I was like, wow, this is, oof. I am loving this. Like a seedless watermelon, you know, juicy. Oh, very juicy. From Botwin, we have a Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent forest fires in August or September. Because right now, everything's green. So we're not going to have any fires right now. Also from Bachman, we have a poultry car. I'm, I didn't even know we transported chickens in poultry cars. But as you can see, there's some little chickens in there ready to go to McDonald's and become chicken nuggets. Delicious. All right. That's a big hit for McDonald's. Uh, we also have another great northern logging flat car. Loving it. Can't have too much of Great Northern either. Uh, from Walters, I was able to score these four coal cars here. Look at that, man! Never took them out. I don't think he, I don't think he put them on the track. I really don't. But we're gonna put them on the track for him. We're gonna run these things. He's gonna watch this video. He's gonna say, "Yeah, man, that's great. Good job, Charlie." Okay, let's see here. Now, IHC, I didn't know that they made um, their HO rolling stock in really small boxes. I mean, this is great because, man, you could really fit a lot of things in a small space with a box this size. This is a great northern uh, coal car versus, look at this thing. I mean, this is a Concorde. Um, I mean, look at the size of that box. Of course, the thing's, you know, 10 times bigger too, but... Uh, well, you get the point. Uh, we have a couple of box cars here. This one is a uh, refrigerator car from Pelican brand. Eat more butter. Yeah, I guess back in the day, they didn't know about cholesterol. But nowadays, don't eat that much butter. Uh, we have the finest wines of Sonoma. Uh, the Hellsberg winery. Look at that thing. Really nice. Like I said, I don't think he ran any of this stuff. Kirina Ralston, Kirina Company. We have a box car from them, from IHC. And, of course, you can't get enough of the Rio Grande Gondola. Man, look at that. I love it. There are like five of these cars. Fantastic. Okay. From Concord, we have... The Amtrak Phase 4 Superliner. You have a dining car. You have a baggage car. You have a sleeper car. You have an observation car. This one's a... Yeah, this is a sleeper. This one right here was the dining car. All Phase 4. And I'll show you the locomotive that he bought to run these... Uh, to run this, this uh, consist of, of uh, trains. And this one's the observation. I mean, wow. He never put the wheels on this one. You have to put the wheels on these guys. So I don't have the room to even run this size train or uh, baggage car because the, circ the circumference is too small. At some point, I'm going to have to, you know, whenever I, I build my permanent HO uh, track, I'm going to have to have a long circumference to make these things, you know, look really smooth as they go around a curve. Because if you don't, then 
you know, you're going to have a, a train doing this going around. It, it doesn't look good. But in any case, um, I appreciate uh, getting these from him. So, all right. Last but not least, we also have four of the 12 um, box cars that Concord made of the 12 days of Christmas. And this one happens to be 10 Lords a Leaping. And this one here is, uh, let's see, Nine Ladies Dancing. Yeah, it's a nice box car there. Yeah, it just, I don't think he ran these. But we're going to run them. We're going to run them for you, Mr. Woody. There you go. This one here is eight maids of milking. What are they milking here? Cows. Not goats, cows. Let's see here. And this one right here, seven swans a swimming. And, but not at the Santa Monica Bay right now. It's a little dirty out there. So, now, I'm going to show you. Take a little break. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to show you the 18 locomotives that I bought from him. Really nice, unique. They're brand new. I mean, if he took one out and he ran it a couple times, you know, it, it still looks new. And I think some of them are even sealed. So, um, let's do that. And I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, folks, we're back. And I'm going to show you the locomotives I got from Mr. Woody Claxton. Which, again, uh, he had this stuff um, for a while, and uh, he ran some of it. And I know some of his stuff has been taken out of the box, but there's stuff here that's still sealed, still has its shrink wrap around the, uh, uh, the packing. So, uh, let's see. Let's show you this Bachman. This is a Bachman uh, Santa Fe. And this is a 240. This is a 240 from Bachman, Santa Fe. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Let's see here. Let's see what else he got. He also had bought at some point a 242 Union Pacific steam engine. And uh, it also is in very good shape. This is the HO. Prairie 262, actually. It's a 262 Hender with smoke. So this thing smokes. And it has a light. So does this one. So that's going to be nice to see. Uh, from Model Power, he had bought a Model Power switcher. Uh, that's an old-time Santa Fe uh, 040. That's an 040. Um, and it has Katie Coupler uh, style um, couplers. He also bought another small switcher, I think. And yeah, here it is. It's an 040 dockside from the Pennsylvania Railroad. Now, I know you can't really see the, um, because of the uh, age of the plastic covering it, but I will take these out and I will start running them and start doing videos on how these, uh, how, how these are, are, uh, Running. And I, I'm sure they're going to run because no one else used them. And if he did, he barely used it. So might be a little bit of maintenance required, but that's okay. From IHC, let's see. Uh, an Illinois Central 260, number 283. And man, that's an amazing just piece of machinery i mean they i mean the, the real ones were just wow but these here these little replicas make me really appreciate um steam locomotives now because that was like a, a real big diesel guy was like i don't want no i don't want steam engines i just want diesel but you know what there's a lot of artwork in these uh in these steam locomotives so i'm starting to definitely appreciate the the handiwork the craftsman work for these things here's a mantua 
a Dixie Bell uh, Rio Grande. That's a Dixie Bell there, and that's a that's a four six no four four two because it's got two in the back, two in the middle, and then four in the front. That's a nice one, brand new. This one. I don't think he took it out of it. I think there's the wrapping still on there. And this one here is another Dixie. Uh, this is a, a mobile Santa Fe. Uh, yeah, this is a mobile Santa Fe. Engine number 80, 83, excuse me. Man, really nice stuff. It is a big hit. From Walters, this train line phase four Amtrak. I've always wanted one of these. And I've always wanted the right one. And guess what? This is the right one. This is the model I've always liked. Um, it's heavy. So it's going to pull all of those cars that I just showed you previously. Um, and without a problem. Now this here... I've only seen a few on eBay. But this here is what they call uh, a Plaza EM80C. It's kind of like a trolley style Union Pacific engine. Um, I've never seen one in um, functioning in, in real life because our, our region doesn't really deal with that. But, uh, I guess that's an actual engine that does exist. Or existed, or it's in a museum somewhere. Um, so let's see. From AHM, we have a Union Pacific switcher, yard switcher. Love it. Very nice, nice piece to have. Ah, uh, let's see here. From AHM, another one. This one here is from Kansas City, St. Louis, and Chicago, and that is. An old time train, old time steam engine, very nice. And here is another one, but this one's a real grand. Gotta like that. Let's see. Also from IHC. Uh, let's see. A Green Bay and Western locomotive. Man, that's like a two six. That's a 260 steam engine. Man, so happy about this stuff. Here's a lifelike Union Pacific. Looks like it's a 040 with a tender in the back. That's going to be a little runner there. For, and for the diesels, we have a what looks like a either SD24 or one of those high nose GP38s might be a high nose oh yeah it is a high it's a high nose GP38 from Union Pacific and here's his cousin a high nose Santa Fe look at that man so nice here we have uh, probably another GP38. This one is a low nose Union Pacific. I believe so. And the last one from Lifelike, I want to say, I want to say SD something on this one. I can't tell. There's no label on it. But it's from Burlington Northern. And I'm sure all of these locomotives are going to be able to just you know as a matter of fact let's try one out just for just for fun let's try this one out now that we have it right here wow boy i bet this one is oh yeah this has never seen and never touched a track till today let's try this one out oh man so remember this is 20 some plus years that it hasn't even been on, a, been on a test track. So let's see, let's turn it on. I got power. 
I got power here. Okay, well, looks like we got we got voltage. We don't have a short. Well, looks like we're gonna have to give it a little cleaning, a little lubrication, and we will get it up and running. But man, this thing looks whew, brand new. Brand brand new. Let's throw that back in there again. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's uh, say what? Sort of killing time here doing that. Let me do this. Let's take out this Bachman. GP. See if this guy fires up. Says he has light. This one was run. This one has a little bit of traction. Uh, a little bit of marks on the uh, on the wheels. Let's check it out. Oh, watch out. There you go. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Oop. He ran into the house. But it is functioning just fine. Like it should. Okay. Well, folks, that's all I have for you as of right now. I will uh, start putting these um, videos up of these different types of cranes that we have from different manufacturers. We got a lot of material now, so I have basically kind of said that's it for uh, collecting what I have. Now let's just start showing. I know I've been saying that for a while, but this time I mean it. Um, and uh, we have many good things we have many good things to to uh, show here on on the youtube channel and uh again i want to thank mr woody claxton for allowing me to get these from him and uh i appreciate everything he's done for our community and i mean really worldwide if if the seedless uh watermelon is out there right so, anyways, uh, hope you folks uh, have uh, a good rest of the weekend, and I will try to see you during the week with a small little video, a little teaser or something. And again, I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe, let your friends know about the channel, and uh, we will see you on the next video. Have a good one.